Progressive conservatives won a massive upset this week in Nova Scotia, winning a majority provincial government by running to the left of the Liberal Party. So just for American viewers, progressive conservatives are the conservative party in Nova Scotia. Liberals are supposed to be at least somewhat to the left of uh, the PCs, but progressive conservatives won by running to the left of the Liberals. So first, let's take a look at the upset portion of this, as this was the ratings on August 17th in the morning what the uh going into the election what was assumed to happen so liberals were supposedly going to uh maintain a government here winning 25 seats pcs at 16 and the ndp at five well compare that to what happened that night just a complete reversal so in fact the pcs ended up winning 31 seats being able to form a majority government Liberals down at 17 and NDP at six, winning one more seat than they were projected to win. So, and this was all done by the PCs running to the left. More here from CTV News. During the campaign, Tory leader Tim Hewson unveiled a left-leaning platform that promised hundreds of millions of dollars in the first year of the party's mandate to increase the number of family doctors, bolster the mental health system, and create more nursing home beds. Compare that to the Liberals, Rankin, who was elected to lead the Liberal Party in February, argued that his party's planned investments in health care were sensible. Quote, what we don't need is a competition on who can throw the most money at an issue, the former business manager said during the debate. So look at the difference in argument here. Here you have the conservatives making a progressive argument, the need to invest a lot more money into health care. Meanwhile, the Liberals are making the conservative argument that no, we need to be sensible, can't throw money at everything. That is a conservative argument. And they lost. So that, and it's not even just about this. <laughs> I also find it interesting that the liberals, at least in, the, in this one instance, ran to the right on a cultural or social issue. So in the first week of the campaign, the liberals faced more negative headlines after a female liberal candidate alleged party staff had pressured her to drop out of the race because she had previously sold revealing photos of herself on the website OnlyFans. Robin Ingram said the party had told her to cite her mental health issues as the reason for her departure on the first day of the campaign, which she did in writing before going public with her version of events. Here you have the liberals going to the right, pushing out a candidate because she had an OnlyFans account. Meanwhile, Trudeau in the 90s in blackface, that's perfectly fine, doesn't resign over that, but uh, this woman having an OnlyFans, oh, a bridge too far. You have to, uh, you have to get out of the race. Completely ridiculous, and I don't think this, uh, this helped them either. Clearly, now there is, I think, you know, the obvious takeaway from, from this, from this victory by the conservatives is that you have here a uh, politics continue moving to the left in the West. The, the actual, when it comes to the actual policies, what people support. Voters support investments into health care. Voters support higher wages. Voters support infrastructure investments. Voters support these more progressive issues, when it especially when it comes to the economic issues. So to have a conservative party be able to run to the left of the liberal party and win, that shows you there is no there is really no no limit here in terms of what these parties should be calling for. The NDP should go as far left as possible in this next election. The Liberals as well, if they are honest about actually helping people, go far left. And the Conservatives <laughs> might as well go far left. People want to see an investment. Coming out of this pandemic, people want to see a real investment into, uh, into health care, into infrastructure, into society in general. They don't care about you know the, the, the debt, the deficit. They care about actual investments into people's lives into the public and clearly when a conservative party can win on that message then it's obviously a winning message